My name is Jaden and I've been doing weighted calisthenics for about 6 months at this time of the recording. Although I'm very new to this training style, I believe that if I share my experiences and my progress at this early stage of my journey, I might be able to teach something and inspire and motivate all of you watching in order to try out this new style of training that I found really helpful. To give a little bit of context, before I started weighted calisthenics, I was primarily doing random exercises at the gym. And through several months, I actually plateaued. Before doing weighted calisthenics, I tested my rep maxes for pull-ups and dips. Needless to say, they weren't impressive. I only did 13 pull-ups and 29 dips, which was quite depressing at the time. And this was the time where I discovered weighted calisthenics, which essentially means adding extra resistance to body weight movements such as dips and pull-ups. At the start of my journey, I was doing weighted dips for 45 pounds for 5 reps and weighted pull-ups 25 pounds for 5 reps. Now these numbers currently in 6 months have increased to 130 pounds for 3 reps for weighted dips and only 55 pounds for 5 reps for weighted pull-ups. I get to why my dips were able to progress extremely well while my pull-ups staggered behind. And using my method, which was if you got to 5 reps with a certain weight, you could increase by 10 pounds and oh, reset and repeat. And I got to 90 pounds and 45 pounds for dips and pull-ups respectfully in only 2 months, which is quite fast progress. For me, weighted calisthenics was a way to break the plateau that had plagued my journey for so long. It had allowed me to see new strength gains that I've never seen before, set goals for myself, and finally prioritize a training style that I actually enjoyed doing. Now switching gears, I want to talk about the mistakes I've made on my journey. These mistakes plague specifically my weighted pull-up progress. Now as a guy who diligently tracks all his workouts, I can clearly see that my weighted pull-ups haven't improved that much in the course of several months. And the reason for this is I was eagle lifting. I progressed to 65 pounds too quickly when I couldn't handle 55 pounds at all. I used terrible form, which meant I didn't go full range of motion. I didn't get the chin over the bar, which is by far the most challenging part of the movement. And because of all these mistakes, I didn't progress as much as I wanted to. In fact, I don't think I progressed at all. It was only several weeks before this recording that I went back to 55 pounds and did and worked my way up to five cleaner reps until I believed I was ready to hit 65 pounds for free reps. Now because of these mistakes, I wasn't able to progress as much as I wanted to. And this might be the same for you. Now switching gears, I want to talk about the injuries I might have sustained. Now with weighted dips, my progress skyrocketed, but this came with a price because I was using so much weight my body wasn't used to. Well, I ended up injuring myself because I didn't warm up enough for one of my sets. And it didn't allow me to train the weighted dip or even any pushing exercises for several weeks. That might seem like a short time, but for me, it felt like an eternity. It felt really depressing that I wasn't able to hit the weighted dip, my personal favorite exercise for several weeks. Thankfully now I've recovered and now I'm hitting hit new numbers safely as I'm able to warm up and have the knowledge from my past mistakes. So to avoid yourself getting injured, I want you when you're progressing to only increase the increment by 5 to 15 pounds. No more than this and you're going to get injured. Slow progression leads to long term gains without injury. Well, fast progression might lead to short term gain, but it also might lead to bad form and injury, which you don't want. So in the conclusion, my experience of weighted calisthenics is extremely positive and definitely worth it. I'm a huge advocate for weighted calisthenics and I believe it's the one of the best ways to actually progress in calisthenics overall. For example, what makes calisthenics so hard is that progressions are extremely difficult. For example, the pike push-up might use 50% weight, but the next progression, the handstand push-up is going to use double that amount of weight. The huge drastic difference is what makes progression in calisthenics so hard. What makes weighted calisthenics different is, well, it's weights. You can simply just add 10 pounds on each side and that's it. Nothing too drastic, just small increments and slow progression over time leads to long term gains. So what is my advice to you? Should you try weighted calisthenics? If your goal is to get better at calisthenics, get better at these body weight movement, Weighted calisthenics is definitely a great way to build overall strength and body weight strength. 
It will get your body used to lifting its own body weight as well as extra resistance. This allows you to lift heavier numbers and allows you to progress to more advanced skills more easily. An example of this is handstand training. Most people can't even hold a handstand hold against a wall, but because I've trained weighted dips for a while, I was able to hold a handstand against the wall extremely easily as opposed to some people who don't have the prerequisite strength. And this makes learning techniques so much harder because you only have to learn the technical part of the technique rather than learn the strength component, which is already completed by you doing compound bodyweight movements, even better with extra resistance. So if you want to see more of my own progress right here and how my journey is going, you can look at my YouTube shorts or even click down on my socials and please follow them. Yes, I've joined the dark side and I have TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe, I'd highly appreciate it. Now, I'll see you guys all later. And don't forget to tune in and watch my progress unfold in real time.